So twice in one month now, we have seen Mitch McConnell freezing up during these press conferences, going into these catatonic states. You know, the latest one just happening on Wednesday, August 30th. But already now, I mean, just a day after this happens with McConnell, a doctor has medically cleared him to return to work? Are you kidding me? Let's dive in and talk about it. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you as always that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, that's kind of my only option. So yeah, look, Mitch McConnell, he's 81 years old. You know, this has just become, you know, all too familiar with these older politicians. Look, you got McConnell, you got Dianne Feinstein. She's like, what, 90? She's almost 10 years older than, than Mitch. Uh, you had Pelosi, who was in her early 80s before now. She's finally out. Um, you got Fetterman. You, you got all these people, and they all have medical issues. You know, Feinstein's even been in the hospital recently. Fetterman, I mean, he's a complete mess. You saw him breaking down during the campaign uh, back in November of 2022 with the midterms and everything like that. I mean, we could even throw Biden in there. How can I forget him? So you have these older politicians. They have no business being in the positions that they're in. Look, it's one thing if you're older and, and, and you're healthier and you can do it. But if you have, you know, if you have problems, if you have certain issues, you, you shouldn't be in these positions. This is important. You're, you're, you're supposed to be running a country. Your lawmakers, you're this, you're that. People, you know, people vote for you. <laughs> uh... But yeah, it's like it doesn't matter because you could just, this is the new thing, put anybody into these positions because there's always somebody behind the scenes that's really pulling the strings. They're not really the ones even calling the shots, right? They're the ones that are put there, they're given all the money and everything else like that, but they're being told what to do, what to vote for, what not to vote for behind the scenes. But, but it's it's like... the. the <laughs> The walking wounded out here, you know, when it comes to our country and we are a laughing stock. Uh, when it comes to other countries like Russia and everybody else are just looking at us now in the United States saying, huh, you're just ripe for the picking. So what did the doctor say that has now medically cleared McConnell to return to work? I'll talk about it in a second. Really quick though, guys, I need your help. If you could consider making a generous donation here to my ministry to support what I do. You know, my channel is incredibly censored and suppressed on this YT platform, and they are never going to let me get above a certain plateau. You look at my subs, I got over 12,400, but you look at the views on these videos, they're not reflective of that, okay? These, these videos can barely crack 100 views if I'm lucky. The likes are always way down on them. The interaction is way down because of the little buttons and everything that YT presses in the background for channels like mine that they don't want to succeed. Um, and despite the fact people say, oh, you get ads that come up on your videos, but it doesn't amount to anything because unless your videos are averaging consistently in the thousands of views per video, you're never going to get ad revenue of anything. So the only way that I'm going to make it and be able to continue doing this is if you guys can support me with generous donation. I want to be completely funded by my viewers here. You guys can send that message to YT. Now, here's what you could do. One, simply click the super thanks button down below on this video here. That's how you can throw me a tip with a one-time donation of any amount. Very easy to do from the main video page here. Or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash not by site news. The link is in the description. When you join the Patreon, you guys are going to get exclusive early access to the videos before they hit the main platform. You'll also ensure that you're going to get the alerts for all the videos, which again, you're not going to get with my suppressed channel. You can leave comments there completely censorship free and even send me DMs if you want. So check it out. Patreon.com slash not by site news. A link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Now, I want to point this out. It was back in March that McConnell had suffered a fall, and he suffered a concussion and a broken bone. Now, you know, it could be that because of the concussion, that's what's led to these, you know, catatonic states. I mean, funny enough, and if you didn't see the clip, I'll put it for you in the description. He was being asked if he was going to run for re-election in 2026, and oddly, this is where he froze up. Maybe he was thinking in the back of his head, oh God, I can't, I can't stand continuing to do this another, you know, past 2026. Are you kidding me? Maybe that's why he froze up. But, you know, it was right with that question that an aide had to come up um, onto the platform where he was given the, the press conference in Kentucky uh, and help him off stage. I, I mean, it's just sad. I, 
if these people weren't such bad people on top of, you know, all these issues, I could maybe feel kind of bad for them. It's just, it's hard for me to, because I, I know who they really are. I know they have bad intentions, despite the fact that they have medical problems. But a, a doctor, now, uh, as of Thursday, August 31st, uh, a Capitol doctor has medically cleared McConnell to return to work as normal. Everything that he had on his schedule, good to go. No restrictions, nothing like that. Are you kidding? Give me a break. He has no business. No business whatsoever serving in the position that he is. Now, the doctor said this, that sometimes with, you know, post-concussion uh, individuals, they can be a little lightheaded or even a little dehydrated sometimes. Okay. But look, add up all the other issues that McConnell has. Are you really telling me that this guy is perfectly fine and fit to be in his position? Same thing with Biden. Are you kidding Medically clear. They could come out and tell you anything. That's what they do. Sure, medically cleared. We're a doctor. Trust the experts, right? We say they're fine. It's 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 sad because all they're doing is putting them in a position where they can even get themselves hurt. This guy could fall at any point, get seriously hurt. I mean, I know they're bad people, but but still, they don't care. They just use them, really. They're puppets. I mean, yes, they they're the ones that are agreeing to it and they're selling their souls to these individuals. Uh, but you know, again, as long as there's people in the background pulling the strings, they'll put these comatose politicians out there and it don't matter. Ah, it's just, it, it's sad. Look, the, the, the politics stuff for me, guys, is so like, pff, I'm done. Like, I, <laughs> I'm, I trust Jesus. I don't trust any of these people. I don't care if they're a Republican. I don't care if they're a Democrat. I don't care what they are. I don't care what their name is. No, no, only the Lord, uh, only Jesus Christ. Uh, look, I'll put more info in the description. Let me know what you guys think. Should McConnell be even doing this anymore or any of these other people for that matter? Let me know. What I want to do right now is something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed on everything going on. I do it because, yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. But if you haven't accepted him yet, if you haven't accepted Jesus, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner, which is something we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Remember, you'll get exclusive early access to the videos along with all the alerts, or you guys can hit the super thanks button down below on this video here, where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.